Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you today? Hi, Jancy. Where are you going? Hi, teacher. Good nice. morning. I'm here with my husband working. <laughs> nice, nice. Hi, Sylvia. How are you? Laura, right. sorry, Sylvia. Wait, Sylvia is your last name? Is my last name. Oh, uh, Laura. A phonic. Yeah, you're sick. Why? Yes. Were you talking too much on the weekend? A phonic. The Friday, Friday, Friday in the night. Oh, the party, huh? For the party. <laughs> more, more speaking. You talked a lot. You talked a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I hope you get better soon. Drink a tea. Drink a tea. Chamomile tea. Yeah. Hello, Dora. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How are you, teacher? Pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? Um, you I'm, very, I'm very good. Um, nice. Yeah. Started the week. And I'm happy to start in class again. Nice, nice. That's the attitude. That's the attitude. You have to be happy for everything. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Even for, for good and bad things, you always should be happy. Yes, always. Okay. So what happened with your classmates? They don't want to connect on time. Oh, really? Just <laughs> Laura and me. And, and I saw Laura is a little sick. What? Yeah, it's a little sick. It's a little sick. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry, Laura. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, Ruth. Good morning, Kenya. Why are you in the dark, Kenya? Good morning, teacher. <laughs> Turn up, turn on the lights, turn on the lights. El opuesto de la canción de Kelly Furtado. Good morning, good morning, Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good, morning. good morning, good morning, Arson. Welcome. Hello, Hilda. Welcome to our class. Today is Monday, one morning. more week, one more day. And little by little, we are getting closer to Christmas. Christmas is coming, Christmas is coming. Good morning. Hello, good morning, Marlene. Do you have vacations, guys? Do you do you have vacations in December or do you work? Hmm? I did have a three weeks for vacation in December. In December. You got a three weeks vacation. Okay. All right. Nice, nice, nice. How about you, Laura? Do you have vacation on in on December? Or do you work in December? I work in December. Really? You work? No vacation? Wow. No, I I work in 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 a event. You have yeah, an I, event. I, event. I, 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 I am I am planning event. Oh so if I ever get married, you can plan my wedding. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Okay, so in my gringa, Yancy, no yet. Ya tengo la que va a planear la boda, so where's my gringa, Yancy? Come on, don't forget about my gringa. I'm not kidding, Yancy. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. It's hard to meet. Uh, a what? Year. It's hard Calm. to meet uh, uh, somebody here because I knew in this state. <laughs> so make friends and then introduce them to me it doesn't matter if it's beautiful or not i mean i want papers that's it you only, only has one woman i want the papers i want the papers that's it <laughs> nah i'm kidding i would get married just for that anyways hello gerardo welcome well 
let's get let's go ahead and get started with today's class people today is october the 23rd i guess we are gonna finish unit number one today thank you so much for the homework i've been checking your homework they are pretty good the sentences are good so don't thank worry you. about that you have done a great job uh and the rest please if you haven't sent it yet send it over send it over send it through all right all right so today guys we are going to continue talking about comparison but we are not going to use comparative form we are going to use the second one which is superlative form that's what we are going to talk about and to introduce the topic, we are going to go over these situations here. You are going to give me your opinions. Let's go ahead and go with the first one. In your opinion, which is the most visited country? Which are the most visited countries? France, United States, China, Spain, or Italy? Which, are, which ones are the most visited? I think it's United States. In your opinion, United States only? Nancy? And uh, Italy. And Italy, why? Yeah. Um, because uh, in United States has too many um places. Mm -hmm. Um, como se dice? Famoso, famous? Famous places? There are famous places in the uh, U.S.? Uh -huh. All right. In California, Hollywood, and um, New York, New York and, uh, Times Square, right? Hello, uh, Luis. Welcome. Times Square, yeah. He okay. has, um, a, I don't know, since the Torre. What? La Torre Eiffel. The Eiffel Tower, but there? that's in France. Yeah, uh huh. The that's tower. in France. Uh huh. In France. The Eiffel Italy, Tower. Uh, yeah. um, I don't know. I different uh museum or or um places famous to yeah there are some famous places famous. any other opinion famous anybody famous. else in your opinion which is the most which is or are the most visited countries France USA China Spain or Italy Dora you're on mute Last time I saw in the in in Google and I saw that France is the more most visited. Really? Mm -hmm. Would French. you like would you like to travel to France? Yes, I would like to go there. And where would, would you go? Excuse me? Where would you go? What places would you visit? Uh, if I go to France. Yes. If we can go first. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Torre Eiffel. Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. The Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Eiffel Tower. And okay. um, I I don't know uh, another place uh, in in France. I never come can, how can I say nunca he deseado ir. But uh -huh. if we have never to, wished. Really? Uh -huh, I, ha but I if, have never wished going there. I have never wished go there. Really? But if I have opportunity, I I like I would like a uh, no uh, tower Eiffel. The Eiffel Tower. I would like to go to the catacombs. Catacombs? Yeah. In France? Yes, in France. Ah. Yeah, underground, and they have a lot uh -huh. of people buried there. All right. All right, let me change the equation. Out of this list, which are the most complicated countries to visit? Most complicated? Yeah, the most complicated <laughs> from this, France, United States, China, Spain, or Italy? United States. Why? Because it's very difficult to uh, get an, a one visa to go there. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to get a visa. In, in Europe, it's easy. China, Spain, Italy, it's easy. You just need travel. money, right? Uh-huh. You have to 
you do, you just need a, have a credit card and you can go there yep. and they receive you. But United States is top. Um, how can I say? Muchas, muchas dificultades. Very difficult to to go there. It's very difficult to go there. Yeah, they yes. have a lot of requirements to visit the country. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, so Luis, can you read the second one? Sure. The most expensive car brands, Maybach, Bugatti, Rolls Royce, Bentley, National Martin. So which one are the most expensive brands there out of that list, in your opinion? Um, I think, I think, uh, Maybach, I, I I don't I don't know and I don't hear. I have brand? I have never heard that that brand, mm -hmm. but Bugatti, Rolls Royce, Bentley, and Aston Martin, the four brands are very expensive now. And which is the, the most, most expensive, expensive, in your opinion? For for me, maybe it's between Rolls Royce and Aston Martin. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else who can tell me your opinions about these car brands, which is or are the most expensive? Mm -hmm. uh, Bugatti, yeah. You think that Bugatti? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are very expensive cars. Uh, conocido como... I know como somebody. The um, más conocida la marca. Oh, it's well known. It's most well known. Well known. Uh, really, you think it's most well known than Bentley and Rolls Royce? Mm -mm. I would say Bugatti. Is... Bugatti is more exclusive, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And Aston Martin too. I I don't really see many Aston Martin cars, but Bentley. I think Rolls -Royce... May, maybe Rolls Royce is the is the most expensive, uh, the most well known brand okay all right the thank, you, Luis. thank you Luis. thank you Luis. uh okay. ilda can you read the next one the worst thing about the school mm -hmm. uh, for me homework <laughs> why <laughs> because i never like do the homework i prefer mm. the exam Test. All right, he has a creo, right? <laughs> what do you yeah. think, Roxy? What do you think, Roxana? In your opinion, what is the worst thing about school? Homework, bullies, waking up early, mean teachers, or tests or exams? Number five, tests, tests or, or exams. exams. You don't like it? That's the worst? Why? Because I am uh, much nervous. You get nervous, okay? Yeah, nervous. All right, especially I speaking don't like evaluation. This or right? exam. <laughs> okay, all right. Herson, the next one. Okay, teacher. The most watched movies. Hmm. Uh, number five, Lord of the Rings trilogy. You think? <laughs> yes, I consider the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Uh, uh, it's the most watched movie. Okay. Uh, at, at least for me. At least in your for opinion. Me. In your opinion. Yeah, and second ones maybe Titanic. The Titanic. There was a Titanic remake like a couple of years ago. I don't know if it last year. It, Como que la right? It's the boring Titanic. to me. <laughs> it's boring. Yes. For you, it's boring. For really, me, you don't like me, it? it? Yeah. No, I I don't like it. No. All right, all Star right. Star Wars, Star Wars is nice. I think, yes. uh -huh, I think it's Star, Star Wars, Wars is Star nice. Wars. Yeah, but... Jesse, you think Star Wars is the most view? Yeah, Luis? because it's um has too many um uh not trilogies, too many it's uh a, it's, a, it's a very long long saga. How many Star Wars movies are there? Um, there are a lot, right? Yeah. Not as much as the no, Fast and Furious saga, but there are six or seven, I think. Six or seven? 
Yeah. No, there are about uh, 12. Really? 12? Well, wow. Just the movie, just the movie in, in, I don't know how to say, in, in, with people. Uh, I, I mean, uh, not, uh, not a cartoon. Oh, so cartoon like movie. real, real, real like life, action, real like life action. Action. There are 12 movies. Yes, around 13, 12 or, or 13. Wow. Wow. Too many people. Too many movies. I don't actually like Star Wars. In my opinion, it's not a very good movie. In my opinion, right? For me, out of this, I stay with Herson's opinion with The Lord of the Rings. That's a nice trilogy. I like it. And The Hobbit, too. Those are good movies. Yes. Hi. Thank you, Herson. Now let's see, Kenny Alvarado. In your opinion, which is the biggest? Which are the biggest cities? Tokyo, Jakarta, Delhi, Manila, or Seoul? Uh, really, I don't know about the countries. You Maybe Tokyo. The country? It's more bigger. Hmm. Why is a competitive form of big? More bigger or only bigger? Bigger. Bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So Tokyo, that's in Japan, right? Maybe, Where is Jakarta? Oh, maybe, maybe I need to research about. Yeah, me too. In where, is, where is Jakarta, people? Do you know? No. Oh, no. Indonesia. Indon Indonesia. Yeah. Indonesia. Yes. Really. Yes. All right. Delhi is India, right? Yes. Manila, Manila Philippines. Philippines. And Seoul, China, right? Korea. South Korea. Oh, Korea. Korea. Sorry. Korea, Korea. Okay. Hmm. 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 Which one would you do you think is the biggest city? I think uh, it's Tokyo. Seoul. You think Tokyo? Is yeah. Seoul, your opinion, Seoul? Yes. I don't know. What do you say? Can you? Poblado. No. Super poblado. Crowded, crowded. Crowded. Tokyo. Okay. Hmm. Daily teacher. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that daily because India has a lot of people. Right? Delhi is crowded. It's really crowded. crowded it. Yeah. We will have to check with Google. All right. All right. Now let's see, Gerardo. In your opinion, which are the most watched sports? Football, basketball, cricket, tennis, or athletics? Well, I think uh, the most watched sport is football. <clears throat> football and in some uh, in some events is the football uh, the American football uh -huh. but some the Super Bowl. Uh, but just in in the in the playoff or how do you how do you say the Super Bowl the Super Bowl yeah. Just in the Super Bowl, the football, the American football, but uh, daily, the football, soccer. Soccer. Yeah, a lot of people like soccer. Do you guys like soccer? Who likes yes. soccer? You do, do you like it? You, you, you like it, Luis? Oh, yeah, yeah. you said you like watching yeah. the, the league, right? Yeah, the Premier League. English the Premier, Premier League. League. I don't like soccer. <laughs> Why? It is the best sport in the world. For you? Nah, I yeah, don't really like it. Of course. It's kind of boring. In my opinion. In my opinion. In my opinion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no problem. But, what, but for you, uh, do you like sports? I do. But what, what is the, the I mean I like I like playing soccer. In the in the past I used to play soccer a lot, but street soccer. Street soccer, you know, yeah. with your friends. But I think I like it because we always fought with our, our other neighborhoods. That was the excuse. Oh, yeah. That was the excuse. <laughs> if we wanted to have a fight with other neighborhood, we told them or we invite them to play soccer. If during the game, we fought. <laughs> that was the entertainment. Yeah. But um, watching, watching, I don't really like watching sports. Yeah, I, 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 I know... Uh, some people that told me the same. Mm -hmm. uh, they they like 
football, soccer, but uh, they 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 don't like to watch the mm -hmm. match. Yeah, I yeah. don't like watching soccer matches. I like playing the sport, but I wouldn't stay two hours in front of the TV watching a soccer game. Not even video games. I don't like soccer video games. <laughs> it's it's good. I I I I can complain about that, but it's right. it's good in, in video games. Entertaining, entertaining. All right, let's yeah, see now. Uh, Marlene, tell me in your opinion, on your opinion, which are the most eaten fruits? Tomatoes, bananas, watermelons, apples, or oranges? Um, my favorite t-shirt is um uh watermelon. All right, all right, but out of the list, which one is the most eaten? The the one that people eats the most. Mm. Or the most common, let's say. The most common for people to eat. Uh -huh. I think uh bananas. You think bananas? Mm -hmm. Why? Um because um uh, my son my son uh, he's like he like it. He likes bananas. He like, uh -huh, bananas. Um, right. my uh, sobrinos, um, nephews. I have my nephews. Only uh, he he likes the bananas. Mm -hmm. He likes Only, bananas too. Mm -hmm. Okay, bananas are you can see bananas everywhere, right? What do you think, Ruth Gordero? In your opinion, which is the most eaten fruit, the fruit that most people like? Yes, for me, is bananas. Because the children prefer bananas and with bananas, I, I make different food. And drinks too, right? Yes, milkshakes, mm -hmm. cake, diesels. Cake. cake, really? Banana yes. cake? Banana cake? Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. Banana cake, yes. really? Yes. I, have, I, have For never, example, I, I have never seen a banana cake. Pudding, for example. It's delicious. Yeah, pudding, yeah, pudding, yeah. But cake, no. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, that's I... new for me. <laughs> you prepare it, Marlene? It's no cake. Um, it's, it's the, I never, I, I can, I don't know how can I say volteado de banana. I don't even know what a volteado is in Spanish. What's a volteado? Volteado de banana, le pone, lleva la masa, lleva banano y lleva bananas encima. Yes. Different al budín. Volteado. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. I never mm -hmm. eaten volteado. The cupcake. Pongo de cabeza o el cómo. Volteado de piña, volteado de banana. <laughs> es como el budín, por así decirlo, porque lleva la base del, del guineo. How do you say that in English? Caramelo. With the caramel base. The caramel. Ajá, caramel. And banana. Around. And yes. masa, how do you say masa? Dope. 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 Uh, it's mixed with banana. Uh, uh -huh. Banana. The, uh, the, the flour, puré. Egg, the... egg, <laughs> vanilla, polvo de hornear. Polvo yeah. de hornear. Baked yeah. powder, baked powder. Baked baked powder. powder. Uh, sugar, cinnamon. And that uh, is... Banana cake. So it's like so it's like so so it's like bread. Yeah, uh -huh. yes. it's a bread. Banana, banana bread. It's a bread. It's bread. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, banana bread. Yeah, I have eaten banana bread and it's delicious. Uh huh. Have you oh, eaten? Yes. Have you have you um, have you have you a guys potato. eaten potato bread? But but it's potato sweet sweet uh -huh. potato. Potato, is it with potato, sweet? No, bread, that's no, uh, I don't with camote, it's with potato. It's camote, sweet potato, yes. Me mintieron entonces. Hmm. <laughs> uh, potato bread, I I sé que es un es camote para pan de hamburguesas. No. También, ajá. Uh -huh. oh, I don't know. But, if, But they told uh -huh. me it was a potato potato, not a sweet potato. They lied to me, liars. All right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you. Uh, Fatima Guadalupe, in your opinion, which is the most popular pet? Dog, cat, fish, birds, or rabbits? 
nostalgic. Cows. Um, for me, it's cats. Cats. But yes, because I love cats. <laughs> All right. In your opinion, cats. Do you have a cat? How many cats do you have? I don't have. You don't have cats. No. Um. Um. But two years ago, I have one. You have, and what happened? Yes. What happened to your cat? Did he, he pass away? Come on. Did he pass away or did he run away? He died. He died. He, he died. He passed away. Passed away. This is another uh, way. This is another way to say died. He passed away. Pass away. Ah, uh, okay. So he passed away in the past, right? He passed away. He passed away. Okay. All right, guys. So I want you to notice in these cases, we are not comparing only two things, right? We are comparing many, three or more. So when we compare three or more things, places, animals, whatever, we don't use comparative form. We use the superlative form. And we are going to go over the rules. First of all, let's see the definition. Um, Ilda, no, uh, Gabi, can you read the definition, please? <clears throat> yes, definition. Uh, superlative adjective are used to compare three or more things, people or place. They... Indicate. Indicate. Indicate ¿Cómo, the, ¿Cómo se pregunta por la pronunciación de una palabra? How do you say? How do you say or how do you pronounce? Uh, how do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce that word, teacher? Indicate. Okay. How do you pronounce? Uh -huh. The, the in, indicate? Yes. The high, high, highest. Highest degree of uh, quality, such quality. as the quality, quality, such as the fastest. How do you pronounce? Tallest, fastest. fastest, yes, fastest. Fastest, the tallest or tallest. the most beautiful. Yes. So just rephrasing. When we compare three or more, and we focus specifically to the one with the highest level of the quality, we use the superlative form. For example, we have a cat, we have a dog, and we have a cheetah. You know what a cheetah is, cheetah? So out of cat, dogs, and cheetahs, cheetahs are the fastest, right? So comparing three and referring to the cheetah. I am 175. My brother is 180 and my cousin is 190. So my cousin is the tallest. Yeah. And we are going to go over the rules of spelling. <clears throat> Formation. Roxy, can you read the first one? Me, teacher. Yes. Formation. Superlative adjective are formed. Form, form by adding est to the mm -hmm. end of a one syllable adjective or by adding most before a two or more syllable adjective. Thank you. Uh, Marlene, read the examples. Um, example the faster runi, runner and the uh, right. Rice, 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 right, rice. The tallest bu building, 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 building in the city. The most delicious pizza I love ever had. I've ever had. I ever had. I so ever had. <laughs> for one syllables adjectives in these cases we don't use er. Right, er is for. ¿Para qué era el ER? ER, ER, ER. For what? Comparative. For comparative form. 
For superlative, we use EST. But don't forget, you also need to use the article the. Okay? The. It's not only EST, but also the. All right? In the comparative form, we don't use articles. We say my cell phone is more expensive than yours, right? But in this case, you say the most expensive, always. The, the. Now let's see with the irregular adjectives. Hilda, irregular, irregular, can you read, please? Yes. Some adjectives have irregular superlative forms, such as good, become best, and bad, become worse. All right. The irregulars are the same, good, bad, and far. But in these cases, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be better, but it would be best. the best. The best, not only best, the best. Mm -hmm. And for bad, we have bad, worst, comparative, and the superlative? Worst. The worst. worst. The worst. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Kenya, can you read using in comparison? You have to use the. <coughs> The adjective, he is the It's smart. important to use the before. The adjective, for example, he is the smart person in the room. Uh -huh. So as I was telling you, it is important to use the? The? Right, the article before the, before the adjective. So in this case, you wouldn't say he is smartest person in the room. Uh -huh. He is the, the smartest the person in the room. So... <clears throat> you wouldn't say my cell phone is the my cell phone is most expensive. What do you think about this? The most expensive. No, no here we're missing there, right? The the most, my cell phone is the, the my cell phone most is the most expensive. Expensive. Uh-huh. It cost $25. Oh. <laughs> it's the most expensive. <laughs> the, the. Don't forget the article. Okay? So this, okay. in this case, is como el done. Como estamos comparando. Right? In comparison, comparison we use done. How do you say más pequeño que? Smaller than. Smaller than. How do you say más grande que? Bigger than. Bigger, than. Bigger, than. Bigger than. How do you say más hermoso que? More beautiful, more beautiful than. than. More handsome than. than. Comparative. Superlative, we use the. How do you say el más grande? The biggest. The biggest. The biggest. The biggest. The biggest. The biggest. El más hermoso. The most, the, most the, most the most beautiful or the, the most, most handsome. Depends if it's a woman or if it's a, or if it's a man. All right. Let's go over some practice here. Here I give you some adjectives and we are going to write the superlative form. So let's get started. What's the superlative form of good? Better. Better? Better? Best. 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 The best. The best. The best. The best. The best. The heaviest. The heaviest. In this case, the rule is the same. The letter Y changes to the letter I, and we add EST. EST. The he heavy, heavy. Mm -hmm. Interesting. The most, the, the, most most the most interesting, the most interesting, right? Interesting. Clever. Um, clever. 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 The cleverest, uh huh. Kind, kindest. the kindest, kindest. Uh -huh. mother, kindest. Um, mother, the most mother, <clears throat> angry, 
angriest. Angriest. The angriest with I right long. The longest. Longer. The longest. Long. Salud. <coughs> Gracias. The longest new. New the newest. The newest the new with only one double right, no duplication. Big. The biggest. Biggest. One G or double G? Double G. Yes, the rule is the same. The biggest the attractive. Biggest, the restaurant. The most attractive. The most attractive. The most attractive. <laughs> nice. Nicest. The nicest. nicest. The nicest. Brave. <clears throat> um, the bravest. The, the bravest. bravest. Beautiful. The most, the most beautiful. beautiful. The most. Oh. The oldest. The most. The, ah, the, the oldest. oldest. Busy. Busiest. The busiest. The busy with the Y or with an I? Uh, with an I. 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 Right. <laughs> complex. The most complex. The most. Compl the compl most pretty. The prettiest. The prettiest. The prettiest chip. The, the cheapest. cheaper. The, the cheaper. cheapest. The cheaper or the cheapest? The cheapest. The cheapest. The cheapest. Dangerous. <clears throat> the most dangerous. The most dangerous. Sad. The saddest. One D or, or double D? Double D. Double D. Yeah, double D. The saddest. <laughs> Easy. Easiest. Uh, easier. Easier? Easiest. 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 With a Y or with an I? With an with I. A I. With an I. Easiest. Right. Difficult. The most, the most difficult. The most difficult. Small. The smallest. The smallest. The smallest. Uh -huh. Fat. The fastest. The Fastest. Fat, the fat, fat, not fast. Fat. The fat is the one double T. Double T. Double D. The fattest, uh-huh. The fattest. The fattest. Uh -huh. Famous? The, the most famous. 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 Strong? The strongest. The stronger. Stronger or strongest? Yes. Strongest. Strongest, uh-huh. Funny? The funniest. The funniest. The funniest. Funny. This one you can say both. You can say the most funny or the funniest. Funniest. Here, frustrating. The most. The most. The most frustrating. The most frustrating. Okay. And that's it. All right. So as you see, the rules are the same as comparative. Yep. Adjectives ending with the letter Y. You eliminate the Y. Add I and add EST. One syllable adjectives ending in consonant, vowel, consonant, duplicate the final consonant and add EST. The rules are the same. The only difference is lo que agregamos. For comparative, ¿qué le agregamos? Comparative? Yes. Oh, comparative. no. R, R. R or ER. And for ER superlatives? Or uh, yes. EST. EST. And when we are comparing or when we use comparative, we use comparative for how many people, things, or whatever. How many? Comparative. Three or more. Comparative. Oh, comparative one. Only one? One, two, one, two, two. Two, right? Two, we no, are two, comparing two, sorry, two, two places, two things, two yeah, animals, two, two, two people, etc. And with the superlative? Three or more. Three or more. Three or more. Excellent. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. Questions? Questions so far? No? <clears throat> All right, let's go over some practice again. Here we will complete the sentences with the correct comparative form of the verb in parentheses. <laughs> I want you to volunteer. Come on. Tell me, number one, volunteer for number one. You can put your hand up with the emoticon right there. You can hand up. Yes, Yancy. Tell me number one. Yancy. Yeah, this is one of the most beautiful places in the city. Excellent, beautiful. 
<laughs> this is one of the most beautiful in our city. Perfect. Yes, uh, Dora. <clears throat> he is. He is. Where is he is the angriest person on our campus. How do you spell angriest? Angriest a uh, a n g r i. E S T. Perfect. He is the angriest person on our campus. Excellent. Yes, Kenya. The Lovre Museum is the largest museum in the world. The largest museum in the world. I guess that's in France, right? The Louvre, the Louvre, 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 Thank you. Next, for number four. Come on, guys, volunteer, volunteer. Number four, number four. I I was. I was. Is it your, was. Is it is it is it is yours? Step to uh, I don't know um, <laughs> to solve the problem. problem. You are missing one word. Le falta una palabra. It was. I it was the the I was the 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 is the easiest. The easier or the easiest? No, I it was the the uh -huh. the the easiest. Mm, easiest, easiest. No, it's, it's, uh, easy is. <laughs> it was the easiest step to solve. Uh -huh. This is step to uh so solve it to solve the solve, solve. The, solve the problem. <laughs> uh -huh. Read it again. It was the easiest step to solve the problem. It uh -huh. it was the easiest step to solve the problem. There you go. There you go. Very good, my lady. Good job. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Come on, guys. Say me or put your hand up. Come on, come on. Participate. Me, me teacher. All right, Luis Fernando. Next one, number five. Number five. This book contains the most frustrating chapter. This book contains the most frustrating chapters. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I said the Pablo Coelho. Next. Next, right. next. James is Douglas. Yeah, the most handsome. The most handsome. All right, in the entire class. Very good, Douglas. Thank you. Number seven. Who can tell me number seven? Come on, guys. Come on, Roxy, Harrison, Hilda. No. Benji has. Uh, Fatima, yes, or, yes, wait, Fatima or Marcela, who's talking? Fatima, Bendy you. Has, <laughs> Bendy has the biggest backpack among her friends. How do you spell biggest? B I double G I E S T. Mm, why I? Remember, we write the I only when the adjective ends with the Y. Solo cuando terminan con Y. In this case, it's just biggest. The biggest. Good double G. Perfect, Fatima. Uh, Fatima, thank you. Next, Kenya. Yeah. Kenya Alvarado. Okay. Uh, Bugatti is the most fastest work car in the world. The most fastest, like these people? What do you think? The most fastest the or fastest, only the fastest? The fastest. The only fastest. the fastest, right? The fastest, the fastest. Car, sport car in the world. Mm -hmm. Next. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, Gerardo. Capil became the funniest 
stand up comedian. Funny with the Y or with an I? IST. Funniest. IST, yeah. The funniest stand up comedian. Stand up comedian. And the last one goes to Ruth. Tell me the last one, Ruth. Chimpanzees are Chimpanzees. the most intelligent, intelligent animal. The most intelligent animals. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, <clears throat> in these cases, remember always part of the structure before the adjective, you have a verb, right? In this case, ¿qué verbo es este? Ver to be. Ver to be here. Ver to be. What's the verb in number three? ¿Cuál es el verbo en la number three? To be. To be. right. And again. Number four? To be. In the past, right? Was. Past. Number five? Con to contain. 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 Uh -huh. And number six? To be. To be. To be. To be. Number seven? Has. Has. To has. 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 Number eight? To, to be. be. To be. Number nine? Become. Become. Became. Became. Right? Become. Became. And the last one? To be are. To be. To be. To be are. So always before the adjective, we have a verb. It could be the verb to be or any other verb that refers to a quality. So the subject, the verb, comparative adjective, and then the complement. All right? All right? Let's move on. Questions? No questions? Is it difficult? All right. No. As long as you remember the adjectives, it will be easy. All right, guys. I will give you some time to talk about this picture and answer these questions. Who is the tallest sure. in the family? Yes. I, I, I have a question. Oh, please, tell me. Uh, in the in the in one in one of the of the sentences I I made uh, about the homework, I used the adjective greasy. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, yes. But uh, the in 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 the on the internet uh, when I search for the for the, the correct uh, for the correct form to 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 write it uh, is greasy more greasy, not the greasier. I don't know is I don't know if greasier exists. Yes, you can use both cases, greasier with I-E-R or more greasy. Yes, ah, okay. Okay. remember that with the with the two uh, adjectives, but then with the Y, most of the time you can use both cases. Like, there are some exceptions, of course, with easy, it's only easier. You will never say the more. it's more easy. But with happy, you can say happier or more happy. With funny, you can say funnier or more funny. Yeah. So okay. in this case, okay. greasy, it's also one of those. You can say greasier or more greasy. Yeah. Okay. Both options. Would this be is okay. an exception like, like the others. Mm -hmm. It's an exception. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Right. So again, I will split you. Uh, take a screenshot of this, please. Take a screenshot. So I will send you to the breakout rooms right now. Practice asking these questions about the family here, the Simpsons. But when you finish, you can also ask about your own family. Yeah, about your own family. Like ask me the questions. Let's have a practice. Ask me the questions. Who is the tallest in the family? 
In my family, the tallest member is my cousin Juan Jose. He is 190. So he is the tallest. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, he's very tall. Yeah. Next. <laughs> Who is the funniest? The funniest, the funniest <laughs> in my in my family. <laughs> nah, it's not me. It's my uncle. It's my uncle. He, his name is Rupert. And he makes a lot of jokes. <laughs> He's the funniest. Uh-huh. <laughs> Next. Who is the shortest? Your family. The shortest in my family. That probably will be my mom. My mom is the shortest. She is like 156, something like that. Okay. It's below 160. Who, yeah. Who is the most beautiful in your family? The most beautiful in my family? Hmm, <laughs> that's a tough question. Hmm, who is the most beautiful? That question offends you. Oh, Luis? That question offends you. <laughs> hey, it will be my cousin, my cousin Diana. She's beautiful. Beautiful and young. Mm -hmm. If you had asked who is the most handsome, that would be a different answer. Mm -hmm. The most handsome in my family is my son. He's the most oh. handsome. And people say he looks like his father. <laughs> yes. That's what people say. It's not me. It's people's opinion. <laughs> All right. So I will send you to the breakout rooms right now for you to practice. Right, so talking, keep on practicing. Start with the Simpsons family, and then you can go to your families. I have Hi. a question. Tell what about this, this two question? Most intelligent and smartest in is not the same. Yes, they are synonyms. Yes, it's, they are it's the same. We can use the either both. or, either or. Yeah, you can say ah, who okay. is the most intelligent or his who oh. is the smartest. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay, you can change you. that one to one question that comes to your mind. También pueden inventar, inventar. How do you say tacaño in English, people? Stingy. 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 Or you can say who is stingy. the most stingy person in your family? That would be me. I'm very stingy. Me. Mm -hmm. Me. I'm very stingy with myself, but not with other people. Right. <laughs> I'll send you to the breakout rooms right now. Practice, practice, practice. This is your time to, to talk and practice. <laughs> so take advantage, please. Take advantage. Um, oh, I say payaso. Wow. No. Of no. oh, the family. <laughs> okay. In my case, it's my cousin. Because all the time he's speaking a lot, he, and he says a, a lot. 
um, jobs all the time. And you, Yancy? I don't have uh, any person in my family <laughs> for money. Carla is not here. Um, who is yeah. the short? The short or the shortest? Shortest. Um, okay. Your family, who is the is the smartest? Hmm? <laughs> In my first case, all, all my family is smarter. It's really intelligent. And the shorter, <laughs> my mom. She's a uh, one fifty six above. Okay. Uh, voy en el bus, pero voy a intentar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, who is the tallest in the family? In your family, um, Marlene? Um, I. I think I think my son I think my son Brian is 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 he is most to, to, tallest. Most tallest or only tallest? No, he is most tallest. Ah, uh, with the adjective tall, the superlative form is tallest, no most. Tallest. He is okay. the, the tallest. tallest. Yeah. Okay. Um, um Elena, um who is the younger young youngest youngest? Youngest <laughs> actually, okay, okay. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> happened, in, happened, in your happened. case, Hilda, Hilda, in your case, who is the shortest? Your family. Uh, the shortest is my mom. Is my mom. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. And who is the youngest in your family, Hilda? The youngest is my niece, Marcela. He has two years old. She is. She is. He is. Yes. Okay, okay. In my case, the youngest in my family are my niece. She's twins. Yes. They are twins. Yes. They are twins. They are twins. Oh. Yes, and what about you, Gabby? Uh, the youngest in my family is my youngest. niece. Youngest in my family is my niece. She is two years old. Ah, okay. Okay. Excellent. And the next question is the most important. <laughs> Who is the... <laughs> <laughs> Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. <laughs> okay. Who is the most beautiful in your family? No liars, no liars. <laughs> me, 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 me. me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, uh, the most beautiful, in, I consider that the most beautiful in my family, uh, the my older sister, she is very beautiful. I, she has a uh, curly hair, is okay. um, black. It's photogenic. Dark. Yes, it's very beautiful. Mm, interesting. How old is she? What? How old is she? How old are you? How old is she? How old is she? How old is she? 18 years old. 18, 20 oh, years old. Uh, <clears throat> she, she is 28 years old. Okay, okay. Excellent. 
And Hilda, no liars, please <laughs> tell me. In my case, is my niece says says people says the people. The people say. Uh, the people say. Yes, the people say. She she is uh, fifteen years. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that is the problem today in the in life. I yeah. think. But... Where? Well, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Who is the most okay. intelligent? Elisa, always. Elisa, Elisa. is the most intelligent, Elisa right? Elisa <laughs> oh, yeah. And who is the smartest? I think <laughs> Bart. smartest is Elisa. Well, I think Bart is the smartest. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think Bart is, is is the smartest, but in a not in a good way. No, that's the problem. That's the problem. The problem. Yeah. And the shortest. Who is the shortest? The shortest it's is Maggie. Maggie. It's Maggie. Okay. In your family, it's let's start. With Dora, who is the tallest in your family, Dora? It's my son. My your son, son is, is the tallest. One, one point eighty. Oh, that. Uh huh. That's it's tall. my son, my the tallest in my family. And you, Luis, who who is the tallest in the in the family? In my family, I think my. My sister-in-law is is the is the tallest in my family. Okay. I, I don't know I don't know how to uh how to what is his is his uh what is his 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 sorry I forgot the, 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 the word heist I forgot the word hi yeah 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 hi hi but yeah, height, but uh, she's maybe one point, maybe seventy eight, mm -hmm. more okay. or less. Yeah, that's very tall. Very tall, yes. Okay, yeah, in my tall. in my case, and my cousin Julio is the is the tallest in the family. Really? Yes. He mm -hmm. is uh, one point uh, eighty about that. Around that. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, think... Okay. The most passion. The most It depends because sometimes I I the most passion. Depends the question. Yeah, in my family, my mom. Some case. The other girls. In my family is my aunt. She, she likes boy beautiful. Um, how do you say ropa clothes? Clothes. Hello guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Give me one second. What's that? That's a boy playing. <laughs> 
All right, guys. Now you are going to share with me. I'm a little bit. I'm a little. Well, not a little bit. I'm a. I'm a very. I'm a. I'm a big chambroso, and I want to know about your <laughs> classmates. What they told you. So <laughs> you're gonna tell me like this. Dora told me the tallest person or the tallest in her family is her son. He is one eighty something. You said right. Yes. Yes. Or Luis told me the tallest person in his family is his sister-in-law. Jancy told me the most patient person in her family is her mother, I guess. I'm going to show you again. Yes, Jancy? Was that, is that your mother, the most patient person? <laughs> no. <laughs> you see, I told you I'm a little bit chambroso. So, <laughs> so now, <laughs> share with me. Share with me. Share with me. Come on. My mom is the most um fashionable, fashionable, uh, fashionable, fashionable. Yeah, oh, fashionable. right. Yes. And the the most... Ah, you were talking about fashion. All right, fashionable person in her family is her mother. All yeah. right. So share with me. Teacher, no me acuerdo. Invent. Don't worry. Chamber. So tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Uh huh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Yes, Luis, go ahead. I'll see your face like you want to say something. Something, okay. This is something about my my, my yes. classmates, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, for example, Dora, Dora uh, told me that he's the most beautiful in her family. <laughs> he is the most beautiful in her family. Okay. All right. No, no. <laughs> say that me. Don't it's... say that. Don't say that. Uh... <laughs> said that. Uh, we have yes. two witnesses, Dora. Sorry. So you are the most beautiful in your family. All right. All right. No, Thank you, Luis. No, I want to say yes, yes but I have beautiful say in my that. family. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Luis. Next. Come on. Tell me more. Next. 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 Share with me. Right. Yes, Dora. What can you tell me about Luis or Gerardo? Gerardo tell me that um, her, his nephew is the most younger in his family. Mm, the most younger? Or youngest. The, the youngest young. in his family. All right. In Gerardo's family, the uh, his nephew is yes. youngest. How old is the nephew? Sobrino. Yeah, how old is how old? the nephew? Uh, he's three years old. All right. He, he's telling me he's three years old. Okay, Dora, thank you very much. Thank you for sharing. And the rest, come on, tell me, tell me. Uh huh. Come on, guys, participate, participate, practice, 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 practice. Remember, this is your time to practice. And turn on your cameras too, please. So, Hilda, what can you tell me? Herson says he is the funniest in her family. Okay, Herson is the funniest in her or his family? His family. In his family. Okay. Person, tell me something. Uh, okay. Um, the Ilda's mother is the most intelligent in his in her family. Okay. So your mother is the most intelligent in the nice, nice. Gabby. Yes, teacher. Tell me an example about your classmates. Uh, Douglas is the most funniest in your family. The most funniest? Funniest in your family. Repeat. Funniest. Funniest. So repeat. Douglas is the most funniest in your family. In my family? In his in his family. Uh, but, uh, how do you say su familia? O sea, su, su familia. How do you say su? De él? His family. His family. His family. 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 The so is yeah. the most funniest in his family. Okay, wait. 
Remember, funny, you have the two options. You can say, the funniest or the most funny, but not the, not the most funniest. Oh, okay. So, either so say it again, Gabi. The funniest. So, repeat the whole sentence. Douglas is the funniest in uh, his family. Douglas is the funniest in his family. Nice. Very good, very good, Gabi. And Roxy, we'll finish with you before we go to the next activity. Roxy, give me one example. Marcela is the most hungriest in her family. Again, what is the comparative form of angry? Hungriest. Huh? Hungriest? The? Not only angriest, the angriest. Hungriest. The so, angriest. repeat the example. Marcela is the angriest in her family. Marcela is the angriest in her family. I think. Who's Marcela? Ah, Marcela. Come. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Very good. Very good. Now we are going to listen uh, to some of you talking similar to what you did in the breakout drones, but you're going to do it now in here. You will have to come up with the questions. Uh, Luis, can you read the slide, please? Sure. Walk in, work in pairs or trio and improvise a conversation. Ask your classmates about their families using superlative adjectives. Ask for qualities on their family members. Sample right. who is the most hardworking person in your family. Okay, so now you're gonna do it as a dialogue, two or three people, and you will have to invent the equations. Remember to use superlative forms correctly. Now, I need three volunteers, three people who wants to practice. Come on. Uh-huh. Okay, Dora. I have Dora, Jancy, and one more. One more, one more, one more, one more. Hilda. Dora, Hilda, and Jancy. Remember, a dialogue, a conversation, not a presentation, right? A dialogue. Ask questions and answer the questions. Start with the greetings. Finish with the farewells. Right, five minutes. Five minutes starting now. Go ahead. Hello, Dora. How are you? I mute. Oh, sorry. I'm okay, Hilda. How are you? Thank you for asking. I'm fine. Uh, Dora, who is the nicest in your family? Wait, wait. Pause, nice. pause, 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 pause. Okay, okay, okay. Remember, before you go to the equations, introduce a context or something, right? Not, not only the greeting, but give a context. <laughs> like, Hi Dora, how are you? I'm fine. And you, Yancy, don't forget it's a trio. Dora, Yancy, and Linda. I'm fine too. Thank you. Okay. You know, Yancy, I would like to know about your family. So can you can I ask you some questions about your family? Right? Don't go straight mm -hmm. to the questions. Right. Okay. Hilda, Dora, Yancy. Second okay. take. Take two. Action. Take two. Yancy, <laughs> okay. nice to meet you. Again. Hi, nice to meet you. I am um... Dora and uh, your name. Hi, Jancy. How are you? How are you today? Good day. Oh, thank you. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Oh, really? But I saw you are working today. Jancy, I'm huh? sorry. I'm not <laughs> uh, with the uh, internet. Yeah, ah, I Jessica, have a... Uh, I can see okay. it. Okay. Well, Hilda and, and, and Dora, continue. Okay, okay. Hilda. Hello. 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 How is your family? <laughs> family. Uh, 
everything okay? Everybody's okay? How about your family? It's good. Oh, it's nice. And yes. tell me, who is the most hardworking person in your family? I think it's my mom. She is working all day. Really? Yes. Oh, nice, nice. And how about you, Dora? Uh, I think the most hardworking in my family is my son because he has two works. Really? And Monday to Friday, yes. Wow. Yes. From seven at, uh, to five, he worked in ONG, in what, uh, ONG, and the, after that, he worked, he made bread. And, and I think he is the, the most hardworking in my family. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I'm here. <laughs> you come back. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Who is the most the most hard working in your family, Yancy? The most people in my family work is my husband and my and my uh father. Oh really? Yes. They work hard. They they um they work uh the Monday to Sunday is possible. Yeah. Um, really? Yeah, he drives. Very hard. He drives a truck. Mm. And he go to a different state. And oh, they get nice. uh, in the road for five day or eight day. It's it's too hard. Yes, I know. It's too hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dora, yeah. and tell me, who is the the oldest in your family? The oldest? Yes. Uh, absolutely, uh, it's me. <laughs> it's me. You really? Yes, because that has uh, just my my son and my granddaughter. They are youngest uh, than me. Okay. Yes. In uh, your family, Jan see, Jancy. And my family, uh, my grandmother, the is is the the oldest in the family. Okay. Uh, she has um seventy nine years old. Wow. Oh. Interesting. In my family is my grandpa. He oh. is 89. 89. Oh, wow. Yes. Watch the nice, nice 89. Wow. Yes. When my dad um, passed, passed away, it was almost. Mm, around nine years. Nine years. Was the most yeah, I, lost, I lost my another grandma for five years ago. He, he oh. has a, um, had a cancer, stomach cancer. Oh. And she passed away. Mm. Mm. I'm so. <laughs> the time. Say goodbyes. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. See you. Bye. Nice see you. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Thank Good you for the conversation. Bye. Thank, Thank you, you too. Have a good day. Bye. Have a All good right, day. guys. Let's go over. Let's go over some details here. Uh, first of all, when we talk about work and job, <clears throat> work is the action, right? Ah yes, yes. Job to job. Is the thing. Uh huh. My good son job. has yes. two jobs. Yeah, thank you. Two jobs. Uh, then good I can you, yes. right? It's just a feedback so we can all improve. Remember, there are always things we need to uh, work on. Also, be careful with the verb to be. 
Oh, let's see there. Are working people is free. What do you think about this? The most hardworking people is my father and my husband. R. Oh, R. Sorry. Yes, right? Because we are talking Sorry. about two people. Yes. Two. Father and husband. And so husband. here we have to use R. R. Very right. good. Very good. Uh, they work on the Monday to Friday. To Sunday. Or Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, yes. Sunday. What do you think about this? Mm -hmm. Maybe they work from Monday to Sunday. Yes, when we give a time frame it's like from. this, we use from and to. Okay. Uh huh. They work from Monday from to Sunday. From and to, from and to for a time frame. It's like in my case, I work from 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. Yeah, that time frame, the last, alas, the last, alas, the last, alas, or they are from two, from two. All right. Okay. Uh, ah, and, and also remember for each, we, for each, each, oops, we don't use, we use verb to be, okay. right? He is, uh, I am, I am, she was, etc. We've used the verb to be, no have or has. Okay? For age. Like, if you want to say, my son is the youngest because he is eight years old. Mm. He has. Okay, very good. Very good, Jensi, uh, Dora, and Hilda. Hilda. All right. Three more people. Come on, guys. Practice. Practice. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't be afraid of practicing. Remember, this is your time to practice and improve. Okay. Marlene, you are one? Yes, teacher. Okay. Second one. <coughs> Ruth. Okay, Ruth, Marlene. Okay, teacher. And one more. Uno más, uno más, uno más. Okay. Gerardo, you want to you wanna do? Yes. Okay. Same dialogue. Same dialogue. Remember, greeting, context, and then questions about your family using the superlative forms. Five minutes starting now. Go ahead. Okay, let's see. Ruth, Marlene, and Hello, Gerardo. Ruth. Hello, Hello Gerardo. Marlene. Hello, Gerardo. Hello, Ruth. How are you? How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, let's start. Tell me, Dora, who's the tallest in your family? Good, Marlene. Marlene. Good, Marlene. I'm Marlene. Sorry. Yeah. Marlene. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gerardo. Who, who's, the tallest, who's the tallest in your family? Um, in my family is my son. Uh, my son Brian is he, he is the tall tallest. Uh, he is the tallest. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, Ruth? In my case, my niece is the tallest. He is one with. 98. 198? Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that, that's yeah. very tall. And, and uh -huh. he has only 18 years old. 
Okay. Wow. That sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. In my case, the tallest in my family is my cousin Julio. But he's only 178, I think. Mm -hmm. 180, mm -hmm. around that. And you? And you, Gerardo? You. I, I am only 171. 171. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I sure. I sure. Um, and, and me, I am a pitufo because I am only one <laughs> with 54. <laughs> wow. 154. No. Yes. Okay. That's mm -hmm. no, that's a very good. Um, Tall. Yeah. Okay, um, and mm -hmm. tell me, uh, Marlene. Yes. Who is the funniest in your family? Who is the funniest? Uh, my my husband is um. He is he, he is the the most. The the most the, the most uh, funny funny. Okay, the most funny. The most funny. Mm -hmm. And you, Ruth? In my case, in my case, the funniest is my little daughter. Your little daughter. <laughs> yes. And the the kids the kids are very uh, interesting, right? Yes. And they they have a lot of ideas and so much uh, imagination. Yes. Yeah. Well, in my case, my father is the most uh, is the funniest of the family. Okay. Mm -hmm. And este in Gerardo, who is the strongest in your family? The strongest. Well, I think in mentally, I think my mother is the mo the is the strongest in my family. Okay. But and physically, how? physically, I think uh, I think uh, I am the the strongest in my family. Okay. And how about you, Marlene? Um, in my case, uh, he is my um, who is my husband? Uh, uh, he 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 is uh, the most strong stronger. He is the strongest, Marlene. The stronger, uh, yes. My okay. Ella, the pronunciation is um is difficult on this. <laughs> okay, For it's me. okay, Ruth. We are learning. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Time um, to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye. Okay, Marlene. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Bye, bye guys. Bye. 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 Don't okay. worry, Marlene. It's normal to feel nervous. But that's the yes. <laughs> Remember, the more you practice, the more you learn. The more you practice, yes. the more you learn. Yes, I see it's all the attitude always. Now let's go over yes. some feedback here. Oops. Oh, here. Let's see. Your mom. So family relationships. How do you say sobrino in English? Nephew. Niece is for lady. Yes, nephew. Uh, girl uh, is niece. Boy, niece, but boy is nephew. Ne nephew. Boy is nephew. So my nephew, sobrino, el, el varón. Niece is the lady. Mm -hmm. And one more time, remember, uh, what do you think about this? What do you he think is, about this? 
He is. He is, right? No, he has. Para la edad usamos el verbo to be. He is 18 years old, right? Mm -hmm. For age, we use uh, the, verb, oops, the verb to be. And there was another one. When we want to refer to la altura, tall is the adjective alto, but altura is height. 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 Yeah. Height. Yes, that's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for cooperating and participating. Los demás, necesito que nos pongamos un poco más las chispas para practicar. Remember, this is your only time to practice. And that's it for today's class. Keep on practicing, keep on studying, keep on learning. I see you tomorrow, guys. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Have a wonderful Bye, guys. Day. I see you. Bye. 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 Bueno, sí, vámonos. Ah, no, cómo no, no, no la tomé. Hola, ¿quién me está hablando? Sí, Bye. Yo. Luis. Yes, Luis, tell me. Sí, uh, I, I forgot to, to, to send my, my homework because I, I have not checked uh, well my inbox in the group. Send it over, send it over, no problem, send it over, send it through. Mándeme. Okay, I, I, I made it in, in my note. No. Take a picture I, and send it. I will. Okay, perfect. Yeah, take a picture and send it. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. See Take you. Care. Bye. Bye. See you.